Hey, hey guys. Look what we're going to make today. With these really cute in the hoop bags. This design is from Off With Her Threads. I will put a link in the description below. This one is made out of cork. And it doesn't have the piece at the bottom. This one is made out of woven and vinyl. And it has the piece at the bottom. So when you do this style, which is the style we're going to make today, it is made in two hoopings. First of all, you make the back with the piece at the bottom. And then you make the front with the zipper and line it and put it all together in the second hoopin. They are... Got a liner in them if my fingers will work. There we go. They got liner in them. How cute are those? I will tell you, you have to finish this on a regular sewing machine. So, the fabric that you choose, like this is really thin vinyl at the bottom, and this is very thin cork. So, when you box your corner in at the bottom on your sewing machine, if it's really thick material or if you use um, a heavyweight stabilizer or something like that, your machine may not want to sew this little part right here. So choose your um, stabilizers um, according to that because you need to, to box your corners in on your regular machine. Um, this key fob is from somewhere else, a different company, and I will show you in the next video how to make these really cute key fobs. All right, so this is the bag we're going to make, or the bag design we're going to make. We're going to make it in mermaids, of course. So let me show you what we need to make this bag. You're going to need a zipper. I buy my zippers in bulk from uh, Amazon. This zipper happens to be 14 inches long. You don't have to have a zipper that long. You just have to have a zipper long enough to go from this placement line to this placement line. And make sure that your zipper pull and the zipper end is outside of the placement lines. I happen to buy the biggest size that I can for my hoop. And I just buy them in bulk this way. So it doesn't matter if your zipper is larger than you need because we can just trim it off at the end. Okay, so you need a zipper. Okay, this is the fabrics we need. These two pieces right here are for the front and back right here these two pieces here so you need two pieces I went ahead and done the die line on my tearaway stabilizer so I knew how big to cut my pieces so your vinyl pieces at the bottom these need to be as big as this from here to here and from here to here you need to uh, give yourself a little extra room because this is done with the flip style so you sew it down this way and flip it back this way and then it top stitches it so don't measure it exactly this big give yourself a little extra room I would say probably a half an inch bigger than you think you would need and then from this side to this side make sure it's that as long as that piece there and you need two of them one for the front piece and one for the back and I get my vinyl from my punk broidery you'll need a front piece how cute are these mermaids they even have little glitter fish on there see the little fishes is glittered how cute are they so you need a front piece for the whole bag you'll need a back piece for the whole bag and how I get these sizes again is I make sure they're bigger than these placement lines the whole the whole bag okay there's your front and your back and on this bag here it has the front zip part so you need to have a piece this big for the front of uh, the top of the bag because these are the front zip not the top zip so that's what this is I have taken a piece of fabric that fits here and folded it in half and um, on my outside pieces all three of these pieces here I have fused on medium weight stabilizer on the back of all three of these pieces right here and again I folded this piece in half then you're going to need your lining pieces and you're going to need three exact same pieces this is that same piece folded in half 
these do not have stabilizer on them and you need three pieces of these I thought this looked like sand so I thought it would be really cute with the mermaids for the lining um, then you're gonna need your strap I took a two and a half inch strip of fabric let's see if I can get this and what I did was I folded it in half I did it like bias tape so ooh, see if my fingers will let me open it up there we go so I folded it in half first and got a, got a center mark line and then I folded the ends in and then I folded the ends into the center and then folded it again and pressed it okay and I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a line down this side and a line down this side so it'll have two lines on one on one side and one on the other this piece is also going to be these pieces on my bag where I use vinyl on this one I'm gonna use fabric so I'm gonna cut off a piece of this after I sew it and that's gonna be my strap attachments for this mermaid bag see on this one I even use cork but uh, on this one I think I want to use fabric and I think I'm going to use these pieces here for uh, my strap attachments you're going to need two one inch D rings and you're going to need two three quarter inch D swivel lobster clasps and that's all you need guys I have the design loaded so let's head to the machine all right, here we are at the machine. And as you can see, it says we're already on step two because I have already run the placement line on my stabilizer so that I knew how big uh, pieces of fabric I needed to, to cut and uh, prepare. So step two says it's gonna do this line right here. And that's gonna give us our marker for where we're gonna put our vinyl piece, okay? I have directional fabric I don't want my mermaids standing on their heads so I have covered up the um, placement lines with my fabric and um, give myself a little extra more extra room at the top than at the bottom see the see the bottom line is covered up here but I have a little extra more at the top because um, it's easier to place it in the bag that way when you put them together just to give yourself a little extra room these mermaids are really cute okay so now we're gonna run step two and I'm and I'll be right back all right here we are now we're on step number three and the it says yellow but you know the, they just have to change the color to stop the machine so now what it's going to do is it's going to tack our piece of a vinyl, leather, you can use a piece of fabric, whatever you choose. Put um, right sides together and you want to cover this line that it just put on there by about a quarter of an inch or so. If your vinyl is directional or has stripes, it's a good idea to make sure that you, you lay them straight. You don't want your stripes going diagonal. Well, maybe you do want your stripes going diagonal, but it would drive me crazy if they weren't straight I have I just have this silver glitter so it doesn't have a direction so now I'm just gonna run step number three and I'll be right back all right guys because I had already run my placement line uh, directly onto the stabilizer I was a step ahead of what I needed to be step number two is the one that tacks this down see this line here you want to rerun step number two because step number three does this line so now we're going to do step number three and what you have to do is you have to take your piece of vinyl and you want to fold it up make sure it's nice and smooth all the way across here and now it's going to top stitch across the top of of your leather vinyl fabric whatever piece of material you're going to use and um, make it real nice and pretty and tack this down so i'm going to run that step and i'll be right back all right there it is 
it run this step right here see the stitches tied it down real nice and pretty across the top here I love the way that looks it's so finished and like professional looking so now what it's going to do is step number four and it's going to do that big square and basically what it's going to do is it's going to take this piece of fabric uh, right on top of these stitches right here it's, it's just going to go right back over and tack it down to your stabilizer Hoopy number one is finished and see what it did it done this line right here all the way around attaching your uh, fabric to your stabilizer it just sewed everything down nice and neat these are also the lines that you're going to use to line it up when you put it back in when you're attaching it to the bag itself in the next hooping so i'm going to re-hoop another piece of tearaway stabilizer and i'll be be right back okay guys here we are at the regular sewing machine i have my strap fabric and what i'm doing it's going to sew a line about an eighth of an inch from this fold and an eighth of an inch from this fold just making it look finished and pretty so i'm going to run through that Alrighty, so that's what you have. You have it sewn down both sides of this line uh, pretty straight. This will be seen, so you kind of want to do it as straight as you can and make them kind of equal. I don't think anybody's really going to pay that much attention to them, but for me, being that I sell them, I want to make sure they're, you know, they're pretty um, even and straight. So let's head back to the embroidery machine. Alright guys, step number one, run the placement line directly on the, sta the stabilizer, the tearaway stabilizer. Alright, step number two is going to tack our zipper down. See the two little lines right here? It's going to tack our zipper down. So, how we do that is you want your zipper head up like it normally would. You want to make sure it's well past this this line right here so your foot don't hit it okay and you want to line it up in between these three lines right here so basically the crack on the back of your zipper that crack right there see if i can get it that crack where your zipper teeth come apart you want to line it right on this middle line but she does such a good job when she digitizes her files until the number three zipper, which is what this is, fits exactly in between these two lines, exactly where it needs to be. So you can tape it down or you can hold it or um, pin it or whatever. I would just pin it way outside of the placement lines. A couple of things I want to say is my zipper head is out of the way and the zipper stop is way out of the way. These are metal. If your needle hits that, it's going to mess your machine up. It's going to break your needle and you're going to be upset. See, they're metal. So you want to make sure they're well out of the placement lines. So this is the, as big as the zipper you only need is, is this, this big. This is the 6x10 version. So you only need a zipper this long with just a little extra for the the zipper head and the zipper stop to come out of the way. If you want your zipper to open from this way, see this is the top of the bag and this is the front of our hoop. So if you want your zipper to open from this way, lay your zipper this way. If you want your zipper to open from this end with your zipper head this way, and it's going to open back this way. I prefer mine to open this way, so I'm going to lay mine this way with my zipper head up. See, my zipper is up like it's supposed to be. And I'm going to line it up on these lines. You can tape it like I said earlier. I just kind of hold it as it goes down and walk my fingers out of the way. I just kind of walk my fingers down, make sure it's laying flat and straight and lined up on these between these lines like it should be alrighty I'm gonna do that and I'll be back okay there's our zipper put in see it sewed on both sides of the zipper teeth 
it's lined up in between the two placement lines and it's down flat and straight okay so now we're going to do step number three and it's this line right here and basically what it is is it's going to sew right here and it's going to, going to attach our top piece that we have folded in half this is the front piece of our bag it has the medium weight stabilizer fused to it now see my has direction see you don't want your mermaid standing on their head so flip it over and this is what it's going to look like you're going to put it right here and it's going to sew a line right here I kind of put mine pretty close to the zipper teeth and make sure that you have um, you're past this line and you're past this line with your piece of fabric and then you're also past this line okay so make sure your direction of your fabric is the way you want it and it's placed how you want it down nice and smooth and straight and then run step number three All right, so step number four is going to do the same thing, but it's going to do it on the other side of the zipper. So what I've done is I took this to my iron and I fold it down. You don't have to fold it on this much. I just wanted to place my mermaid right in the middle of my bag. So um, you want to at least fold down a half an inch and press it so that you have a clean edge here up against your zipper. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line this up on my zipper teeth pretty good and straight like that and I'm gonna kind of center my mermaid in the middle of the bag and I'm gonna make sure that I'm past all the placement lines with the rest of my fabric and I am so I'm going to run step number four and I'll be back all right guys see that's what it did it done this step right here tacking this piece of fabric down over um, to our stabilizer so now what it's going to do is step number five and it's going to do that rectangle box at the top up there and it's going to do it on the top of our zipper so it's going to do a rectangle box right here step number six is going to do our bottom the bottom of our box the bottom of our bag I'm sorry and it's also going to give us our cutouts for our box corners see right there it does the it go ahead and cuts them out for you I'm sorry not cut them out but it it shows you where to cut out on your fabric so I'm gonna run step number six and I'll be back all right guys step number seven is going to give us the placement line uh, for where we're gonna put our piece of vinyl at the bottom all right step number eight is gonna it's gonna tack our our vinyl down to here so what you want to do is you want to line it up with this piece of this line right here with our piece of vinyl and go over it just a little bit so I'm over it maybe a quarter of an inch or so again if you have striped vinyl or directional vinyl or something like that make sure you lay it um, like you're supposed to all right step number nine what you're going to do is you're going to flip your, your vinyl back like you did on the back piece and it's going to do top stitching right along this fold and make it look very pretty and professional all right guys so we have flipped our hoop over to the back the back of our hoop this is the top of our bag this is where our zipper is and all them lines there i know it's some um, a lot of lines right here so basically what you want to do is the the line that's in the middle this is where your zipper teeth is the one that I've drawn on so it's in the middle so the two outside ones then you got two middle ones and then you have the very middle one this is where your zipper teeth is at under the stabilizer okay so you want to take your top piece that you folded in half see I folded it in half got a clean edge you want to um, go ahead and line this up with that line. I do it a little bit on top of it so that my zipper doesn't get caught, zipper teeth doesn't get caught in that fabric. 
while I'm on the back of my hoop I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom piece and what I did was I folded down about half an inch or so mine's a little bigger but um and you're going to line it up again right on this same that same line you want to line it up making sure that you cover all of the placement lines down here and down here making sure everything's covered up and everything's straight and because this is on the back of our hoop you want to tape it down all right guys see i have everything taped down real nice and good it's all nice and smooth i have it lined up right on that line where our zipper teeth is at and um, it's going to do the top one and then it's going to do the bottom one but while I have it off of the machine and upside down I'll go ahead and, and make sure I put both of my pieces in you don't have to you can do them individually if you want to so let's head back to the machine alright step number 10 is basically going to do the same thing that it did on the front it's going to do straight over the top of these lines again tacking the lining that we have up under here to the, the front of our bag. So that is step number 10. Step number 11 is going to do the bottom. So where our line is here, it's going to do this square and give us our placements for the box and on the bottom. I'm going to give it one more peek up under here, make sure everything's laying like I want it to. And it is, so I'm going to run step number 11. All right, see it tacked everything down all of our vinyl it gave us our placement for our box corners i think it's super cute all right guys i've done a couple of things first of all i have opened my zipper if you don't open your zipper now you won't be able to use your bag and you'll be very upset second of all what i done was i took our strap that i sewed and i cut five inches off of it and then i cut it in half and then I threaded it through my D-ring and I placed it about a finger width or so from the sides, on both sides. And I made sure they were straight and level here. Um, like this one's sticking down as far as this one was sticking down. Okay. Open your zipper. Open your zipper. I can't say that enough. I'm also going to take um, another piece of tape and I'm going to tape this hardware down. Uh-oh. See mine come untaped right here. Okay, I fixed that. And now what I've done was I taped down um, my D-rings just so they don't move and wiggle. And my foot coming around here and, and hit this piece of metal. And I don't want it to mess up my machine. So now you're going to take the back of your bag. And what I did was I removed all the tearaway stabilizer off of it. And what you need to line up, what I think is the most important part to line up are these pieces right here where the leather is. So you don't want them off this way down the side of the bag. You want them to be lined up pretty, pretty good like this. So they're really nice and, yeah, see like that? I would do them like that and make them pretty lined up. And um, also you want to make sure this line right here is past this line right here. So you want to scoot it down until this line is past that line. There you go. And again, line these two pieces of vinyl up or leather or fabric or whatever it is, line it up on both sides. And then what I do is well out of the way here is I put a pin just so that it doesn't move and wiggle as it's sewing around the bag. All right, y'all see what I did? I have a pin way outside of where it's going to stitch at. Let's peek up under here. I have my vinyl pieces. Oh, I don't know if you can see or not. I have my vinyl pieces lined up perfectly on both sides. Have everything laying nice and smooth. So now I'm going to run to the machine and I'm going to stitch step number 12. Okay guys, I run step number 12 and I, I didn't, I forgot to show you what it does. It does down both sides. It did across the top. 
and it did the line at the bottom and it did like a triple bean stitch so this is what it looks like it did it didn't do the box part of the box corners it didn't do that part okay so now let's go back to 13 which is the last step this is going to be the liner and this is what it looks like it's going to do it's going to do up both sides across the top and it's going to do a little bit at the bottom on both sides and leave us a hole so that we can turn this bag through that hole all right so here we are at the back of our hoop this is the top back of our hoop this is the bottom part see this is what it's done so far so the back of your hoop looks like so you want to lay your piece of fabric your your last piece of lining fabric right side down and you want to cover up all the placement lines if you have um any extra you want to put your extra down here at the bottom because that's where we're going to close it at and you and you need a little bit of extra room down there to close it okay so that's what i've done i made sure all my placement lines are covered up and now i'm going to tape it down both sides making sure everything's laying flat like that and get this other piece here make sure it's laying flat okay so that's what we got all right before you run step number 13 you want to take and peek up under here and make sure everything is laying like it is nothing like it's supposed to nothing's caught nothing's flipped over and then run step number 13 this is the last sewing step all right guys this is what the front of our hoop looks like this is what the back of our hoop looks like i have removed all the tape i have also removed the two pins that i put right here and now we can free this from the hoop I must have tape up here because it's not what I do I have tape here there we go one more sorry I thought I removed all the tape alright so now This is what we have. And if you look down here at the bottom, if you go between the two lining pieces, this is where it left our hole. So this is the hole we're going to turn it from um, to the inside in just a minute. Okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove all this stabilizer. Take all the stabilizer off. That. and then where your hole is at right here at the bottom what you're going to do is throw your scissors in the floor so what you're going to do is you're going to go up diagonally all the way through all the layers up to that stitching line okay and you're going to do it on the other side up to that stitch line so you have um, something that looks like that okay and it didn't it didn't put no stitches right here on this side so you really can't see where to cut from on this side so I flip it over on this one and I go all the way around the bag And just cut the best I can use your judgment as to where you need to cut at about an eighth of an inch if you feel comfortable or half an inch however you feel comfortable this is where I'm cutting at Go in the 
the garbage. And the only two pieces we need down here are our two lining pieces, the two pieces that make up our hole. All the rest of this is going to be bulk, so you can cut it off. Okay, and we don't need quite this much, so I'm going to cut off a little bit more of that. So this is what mine looks like. And I have the two lining pieces that make up our hole right here. So now we're going to turn it one time. Very carefully. Hang on, baby. Mama let you out just a second, okay? Ah, there we go. There's one corner. And there's the other one. Alright. So there's what my bag looks like. Alright, so that's what your bag looks like from the back. This is what your bag looks like from the front. There's your zipper up here. And if you'll look, you can see you have stitch lines that mark where you need to cut to box in your corners. I cut just inside these lines just so that I don't... Uh, Everything else, it kind of based it together so everything's all already together for you. There you go. So I'm just going to cut them out like that. Let's see. And then I'm going to do this other side. Now we have both of our corners notched for so we can box them. So let's head to the regular sewing machine. Okay, here we are at the machine. And what you're going to do is you're going to... It is easier if you go ahead and pull this open so that you can get your fingers in there to work with it and help you... Um, open your box corners up. So go ahead and pull that piece off and then open your zipper up completely. Okay, So you can get in here to the bottom with your hands and you want to put your seams this seam and this seam together and if you can make them go opposite directions so that it's not so thick going through your machine. Just like this and I clip it And then I'm going to come over here to this side. Make sure everything's laying down nice and smooth. Just like that. And then I'm going to clip it. When you use vinyl, it's a little bit trickier, but it can be done. I think I like the look of it better with vinyl than with woven, but that's just my personal preference. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch across the bottom on both sides here. And I'm probably going to go two or three times across it just to make sure that it's caught good. Go real slow because you're going through some layers.
that's one corner. So let's go do the other one. What do you want, darling? And there's the other corner. So now, you just turn your bag through your zipper opening. And while I'm at the machine, I always make sure my corners are good and they are perfect. Let's flip this other one up before we leave the machine. Everything's sewed good. My seams are lined up great. Everything looks great. Okay, see here we go. There's our corners and you can flip it on through. Everything looks great. This is so cute. Make sure your corners are good and poked out here. Take your tape off your D-rings. Hang on. Oh, I know what it is. You hear daddy outside. Okay. Give it a good smushing. Let's see, I don't know that you can see what I'm doing here. There we go, now you can. I'm just going to give it a good smushing to get it where it'll stand up on its own. Pull it, make sure everything's out good. Now, there we go. That is so cute. So stinking cute. Okay. Now we need to do the finishing things on our strap, which means we need to hook our D swivel lobster clasp to our straps. So let's go back to the sewing machine. Okay, here we are back at the machine, and what I'm going to do is, um, where our selvage is at here, I don't know if you can see that, it looks a little blurry, there we go. Where our selvages is at there, I'm just going to cut this off straight, stick it through the D-ring, the D-ring part of the lobster clasp, and I'm going to fold it over enough to where I can tuck it in about half an inch and that's what it's going to look like so I have it folded up see I have it folded up I have the lobster clasp up to it and what I'm going to do is sew two lines on this right here the first one's going to be kind of up close to the d-ring part And the second one's going to be at the bottom of the fold. There we go. So like this. Focus on this. Come on. There we go. So that's what I did. See, I did two lines, one there and one at the top. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but I'm going to make sure that I do them both on the inside. Alright guys, there you have it. All I did was take the lobster flask and 
and I attach it to the D-ring part and there's our cute little bag that is adorable again this design is from off with their threads I'm gonna put a link down in the description below and while you're down there please hit the big thumbs up and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button thank you for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me and have a great day